Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and today as you can see over there in the distance is a red object and yep guess what that is that is Duna we are taking Pioneer C I'm just gonna call it C now instead of 1C we're taking Pioneer C on a science mission to Duna we've got everything set up we've got the Kerbal alarm clock ready to uh, tell us that we're passing through the sphere of influence of Juna and we are speeding all the way up if I could zoom out here we go you can see Juna's getting close Juna's getting real close I'm about to see it quite close to us actually should be yeah there it is with its planet with its a uh, moon um, something I can't remember what its moon is right now here it is, it's flying past us. See, we are a bit low, so we are going to have to like make a sort of polar orbit. Polar circularized orbit, maybe. Let's speed up a bit. Okay, there we go. So now, we need to get as close to this planet as possible. So we'll add a maneuver here. And we will slow on down. Oh god, we slowed on down quite a lot there. Right. Have we got this is is this our target? Okay. We are in the sphere of influence here. Oh no, we have got a encounter there, so we'll go there first. So 900 meters per second burn. Yep, yeah, we've got plenty. Now this is not coming home, so after its mission is done, it will be slamming into either Ike or to Juna. But, you know, that is fine. We just want the science, the lovely, lovely science. And we can actually, if, uh, if I get this moving node perfectly straight, we will actually get some science right now. Yeah, that is crazy that we're going to get it right now. But we are getting it right now. Because we will open up this service bay. We will um, reset goo canister. Okay, we, we, we will get some mystery goo and we will transmit it. Transmit it, yep, yeah, I don't care, that it will render it inoperable. I've got... Uh, yeah, it was completed. This is kind of covering it. We'll get that down here. Actually, we can get rid of the alarm clock right now. So we've transmitted some mystery goo data. We will observe the materials bay. We'll transmit some of that. Yes, uh, material study high over... Uh, sorry, material study while in space high over Juna. 21 science, we'll transmit that as well. Yep, that's fine. We will get the uh, thermometer. Uh, we will overwrite. Yeah, sure. We will send that, and we will our pressure data. We'll, I don't know why it's overwriting. Yep, sure. And we will send that as well. Yep, yep. Okay, good. We've got that. The solar panels are working a treat. We will close the doors again just because I don't want them flying off. And there is Juna and Ike, you can see up in the corner over there, and we are an hour away from uh, circularizing our orbit in a quite eccentric one, but it's fine. Now the sphere of influence of, um, of uh, uh, Juna is actually quite large, so you've got Ike quite close, but the sphere of influence is massive, it's not far away. So it could have a uh, another moon if it wanted to. I don't know if any mods have uh, added that in. We will warp to the maneuver node. Actually, we will um, do it now. Actually, we should have a. No we should have quite a lot of fuel in this. Yeah, we should have enough to do it. Oh God, we have. The SAS wasn't on. That could have been a bad thing. That's fine. You can see the maneuver node here is moving about the place. It's getting closer and closer, it should be. It's 500 meters per second left. Yeah, it's, it's wobbling about the place. It's wobbling again. And it should be, should see it come down here. Oh god, not that many. We have got yeah, we've got over 2,000, so this is perfect. I did get enough. You can see it's wobbling quite a lot. It should come in 
We should be able to see it coming in here for a second. Here we go. And boom! Get into a stable orbit around Juno. We actually we actually are gonna keep that going for a bit. So, yeah. Get around I swear I've got that before, but Oh well, we'll get it again. Holy shit, don't know what happened there, but Oh god, no no. Right, we've got an encounter with someone. I can counter. That's not a good thing. So we will add a maneuver like here. No, no, we need to there. Okay, that shouldn't. We shouldn't have any maneuvers with Ike anymore. It's a three point. We are sure. Three day burn. Um, should we just do it here? I think we should just do it here. Oh, no, no, whoa. I can counter again. D damn it! Nova, where we... No, right. Ike is being an absolute... An absolute bastard right now. It's very picky. We'll just... What is happening here? What the hell is happening here? Okay, that's very fiddly here, so let's... Okay, there we go. We are in a stable orbit around uh, Juna, which is weirdly, weirdly um, orientated, but it's fine. Ike was playing up a bit, but that should be fine. So we will uh, bury up. No, we don't need that. So 40, 43 days is when uh, Pioneer 1B will need to. Uh, we'll need to do its maneuver node, but we can add a maneuver node here. Oh, no, no, we don't want to go back into space. We want to get close and close and close, 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 close. Okay, we actually need to set this as target, I believe. Okay, there we go. Okay, that is not going to work well. I need to get it down a bit. So we will be inside the orbit of Ike, which is good. Which is good. 100 meters. We could bring it down a lot closer, actually. It does make a lot more meters per second. How much we got? 1,900. Plenty. Okay, so we have gone... We are quite close now. Jesus Christ, yes, we are close. What I'm actually going to check is to see... Log temperature. No, okay, so we're still in high orbit. Which is fine. And. Oh. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. Can I kill. Uh, okay, right, we'll get that into the place it needs to be. There we go. Right. We warp another hour. So we're cutting this fine with the Pioneer 1C. But it's, it's perfectly fine. Now the now Juno doesn't have that it has a very uh, thin atmosphere compared to uh, Kerbin and an extremely thin atmosphere compared to Eve, so I believe at 200,000 200, meters above it above its surface, I believe we will not be even close to entering atmosphere. But yeah, let's uh, warp to this maneuver node. We have got the Kerbal alarm clock, so it will kill us. Actually, are we? No, we're not. We're miles away. We can have a beautiful picture I believe. Look at it. Well, that's just just out of just out of view we can see it's like there's our our little spaceship. There is Juna, there is Ike. We'll be seeing a lot more of these in the future. So let's walk to this moon below. Right. We'll warp a little bit more. 269 meters per second, which we've got plenty. Oh shit. We have over nearly 2,000, so that's fine. Okay, we will watch this actually. This is the thing we're going to need to watch the most. Okay, and we will get that a bit closer. 
There we go. 0.4. Perfect. So we have now got a periaps of 207,000 and we will bring that on down actually. We will circularize it properly now. Oh no no. What, am I, what have I done here? I'm still a bit fiddly with the maneuvers. Hoping I'll get used to it. Okay. Right. There we go. 206, 208. Absolutely perfect in a. Well, it's not polar, but it's definitely not equatorial as well. I'm hoping equatorial is a word. It's not. And oh well, I'm using it. All okay, right. We will add another warp margin. Yeah, we can do it only a minute this time, and we can speed up. As we go past Juna beautifully, I'm going to come round it. Here we go. We're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to our warp. Here we go. Look how big this thing is. This is the first planet we've actually up to other than Kerbin, which is amazing. Yep. And here we go. Okay, we'll speed this on up a bit. I would check if we have got any, we can actually get a uh, low Juna data, but I am more busy worried, well I'm more busy with the maneuver node to get nicely circularized orbit. It's gone a bit too far, but that should be fine. So can we get, where's the temperature gauge, here it is, log temperature, yes, we are near Juna. Okay, so we just need to circularize this orbit. I'll actually close the close that on up. Get another maneuver. Um what? Okay. No no. Okay, well got that. Oh no no objects. I can see Shit, that's what I needed. Okay, well, we're just... Crap, we have gone past. Fuck it, okay, so we'll add a, add a maneuver. This needs to be there. There we go. Oh god. Okay, so we'll do it from this, this map. As soon as they switch, I will stop this. Maneuver. They have switched. Okay, 70 and 77. Okay, good. So now we can get as much data as we want. And we will end the episode here once we have got all this lovely, lovely data. We'll log that. We will transmit it. Yep. Get nine science. <laughs> to transmit in portions here. Yeah, we'll get the site we'll get the log temperature of the thermometer. We go, I believe, 12 sites, that's nice. That'll probably be enough. 375, okay. Ah oh, no, okay, well it was it we need to wait until we are fully charged. We're quite, quite far away from the sun here, so it will take longer for them to charge. But that should be fine. We'll get that 26.3 science from the science Juna. Yeah, we'll transmit it even though it will break the module. We don't have a scientist on board to fix it. Okay, we'll speed this up so it doesn't... Okay, um, there we go. We uploaded the data. Got one more, which is the barometer log pressure data. Here we go. Transmit that. I believe that should be everything. Yep, we have got everything we can possibly get from this unmanned space rocket. We have got a bit of delta V left. How much have we got? 1373. I will play around with. Uh, Oh, we are going to have to do a plane change if we're going to do a maneuver. So we'll 
already. That's going to be quite a lot. And then we'll have to... That's already 300 out of that. Okay. We want to... Oh no, we do want to... Let's bring that down a bit. We are gonna, well, I'm playing around to see if I can get a uh, manoeuvre node that has a oh oh there we go in two days we can visit uh, yeah we can visit Ike and we'll be thrown out into a really weird orbit it's 400 meters a second um, do you know what I'm actually going to set that up. Because I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to see if we can get to Ike real quick. Okay, right, we need to there. Right, go. Two days. That's fine. Shouldn't take too long to, to uh, go to Ike. But we. I want the barometer and the thermometer data. No, I can't warp faster than this. God damn it! Well, uh, we'll, we'll I'll catch up with you at the maneuver node. Okay, so we are here towards the maneuver node. I just need to turn SAS on as well because that's rather annoying that it wasn't on. Okay, we've got a 462 meters per second burn. Let's go check how much we've got in our vessel. No. Uh, 1,003. Yeah, we should have enough to circularize this orbit over Ike and maybe plow straight into it when the time comes. Where is Ike right now? So yeah, we will apparently get this maneuver node. We had to uh, go to the space center to speed the warp up because it was going to take like about half an hour to. Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, sure. Yeah, I I didn't mean to fire the engine, but. Sure, I can fire it a little bit early. We just need to make sure that this is going to get... We are going to get a more stable orbit around everywhere. Let's just stop that there. Perfect! That was actually incredibly perfect. We are going to crash straight into uh, Juno, which actually isn't a bad thing. So if we go into the sphere of influence, that means we get data that's... Is the high over Ike and low over Ike? I'm not too sure, but either way, we will warp to the sphere of influence. We will bid farewell to uh, Juna. It might be for the last time. We've got 900 meters per second of a doubt if we left. It should be perfectly fine. And we will say hello to Ike, which is over here. Again, we need to keep looking at the Pioneer date, which is 12 days away, which is perfectly fine. This has actually gone a lot better than I ever anticipated, which is which is brilliant, actually. <laughs> I never thought I'd get to both Juna and Ike in the same mission. But apparently, I built a absolutely brilliantly sized and Delta V efficient ship, which, you know, not really complaining about. Coming into the sphere of influence, so you can see Ike's getting closer and closer. Not exactly the nicest looking moon in the world, but oh well. Okay, we have, I believe we have got into the sphere of influence. Oh well, we are going to in a second. It gives you a little bit of margin for the sphere of influence. But there we go. Okay, we're in the sphere of influence now. We've got. Ooh, good things. Let's open up this materials bay again. Let's get the barometer. Uh, space wall. High over Ike. Yes, so there is high and low. So we will have to try and get low, I believe. Transmit that data straight away, though. Now, uh, Ike is is tidally locked with Juno, just like uh, Mars and um, 
Phoebus, I think it's Phoebus, I think it's this the one. I don't even know if that's the right one. But Mars and one of its moons is tidally locked, which means that one hemisphere of the moon will always be facing the planet, the parent planet, which is really cool actually, if you uh, think about it. So one side is in permanent eclipse from Juna, and then the other side is permanently looking at it. And it will never change. Literally never never will never change. It will always be like that. Unless some kind of massive catastrophe was to happen and for some reason I could got started to spin at a uh, a faster rate. I think it's because a tidally locked is because it either doesn't Sp no, it does. Sp every it does spin, but it spins at the same rate of it orbit as it orbits, or it spins at the opposite. Direction. I don't know. It just it's tidally locked either way. I have never claimed to be a um, astrophysicist. Is that the right term? I've never claimed to be a scientist to do with space and. Um, space flight, but I just like to read random things. Right, how close do you reckon it'll have to be? I think it's going to have to be a lot closer than we were to um, were to Juna. So perhaps of twenty-four thousand meters. That's a little bit low, I believe. We we'll get about we'll get thirty. That's fine. Right, we'll quickly do this maneuver node. Seven second estimated burn time. Um, in a, a bit of stable orbit around Ike. Let's have a look at our orbit now. We want it a little bit lower. Twenty. Uh, well, I didn't mean to get twenty four thousand, but it's perfectly fine. We will warp to periaps. Yep, we got an achievement. Uh, stable orbit around Ike. Okay, have we got the sun in? Uh, yeah, we have got the sun here. Right. Well, we will stop that. Let's have a check to see if we've got low. Um, yes, uh, space near Ike. We will transmit that, and we will get the barometer ready. And this is 24 sides. Holy crap! The instrument reads zero, as it's as if we were in a vacuum. No. No shit, we're in a vacuum. Okay, and we'll transmit that as well. And we will get a good, nice, lovely, lovely science. Good, so I wonder how much science we've actually got back at the Space Center right now, but before we do that, we need to um, spin this thing around because we're going to crash this straight into Ike. I'm just going to burn all of our excess uh, Delta V, which is quite a lot of it, and we're going to crash straight, and I literally mean we're going to go straight down here. De Jesus Christ, we're going to go straight down. We are literally just going to go straight down now. And we will, yeah, blow everything up because we don't need anything anymore. We've got everything we need from um... Ike and Juna. It's perfectly fine. We're not going to be able to get this back in any way, shape, or form because we had 600 Delta V by the time we had done all of the maneuvers and whatnot to get into this position. And we will time accelerate and watch this. We will go head first. We're going to go straight down. Boom! Okay, that one. Is that gonna blow? It got destroyed. Is have I have I accidentally put something into orbit? Maybe. No. Okay. So there we go, guys. We have successfully got all the science data from Ike and Juna that we possibly can. So join us next time where we'll be taking. Oh God. Um. Yeah. Uh, tracking station. So yeah, join us next time where we will be taking Pioneer 1B to Eve and getting that science from there. But until next time...
Goodbye.